afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone to Friendship Moments. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to be able to come to God's house and Amen. spread His Word. Amen. You know, that's, that's what we need to do as believers, is to spread His Word. And we just pray here at this little church by the road that these will touch someone's heart and God will open their heart to His Word. And, uh, you know, as believers, we're waiting for that last one to be saved. And then, you know, we're going to be called out of here. And what a blessing that's going to be. Nobody knows. It may happen here. It may happen across the big water or wherever. But when that last one receives or gets saved, and that's what his word says. So believe it. Because it, if he says it, it's going to happen. That's the way it'll be. Uh, I don't really have a title tonight for my devotion, but I'm going to read some verses out of uh, Romans uh, chapter 14, 21 through 23. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. You know, we as Christians, we have to be careful. You know, people just like going into a restaurant. Somebody might be struggling or coming off of an addiction or something. And if you're ordering stuff or doing something out of the ordinary, you know, you might cause them to stumble. And we have to watch out for that. Watch out for even for believers because they may stumble. And we don't want to cause someone to stumble by our way we act and carry ourselves or talk or words we used uh, hast thou faith have it to myself before God happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alive and he that doubteth is damned if he eat because he eateth not of faith for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And, uh, you know, as believers and as Christians, you know, we have to be careful how we act around people or allow things to happen when we're around people. Uh, freedoms, rights, self-preservation. Unfortunately, when people become Christians... These tendencies don't disappear immediately. This struggle is clearly seen in the issues of Christian liberty. You know, we kind of forget when we become a Christian or we, well, you know, that's the work of Satan. I mean, he's going to tempt you and try you any way he can to take that liberty away from you. <laughs> Within the diversity of God's kingdom, believers often disagree about what is permissible and what is forbidden in gray areas. Through our temptation is to defend of our point of view, and we all have a point of view. But if it ain't scripture, be careful what you say. Paul reminds us to operate within the boundaries of edification. In other words, Christians should never demand their rights to the detriment of another believer. Amen. You know, even though we've got a lot of different denominations, but there's people saved in those denominations. They know the Lord and He knows their heart. To the contrary, we are most like Christ when we willingly forfeit our liberties so that others will not stumble. Life is about moves that what we eat is more about what we eat and drink and we should never let things in the gray areas become stumbling blocks for those that are weak. You know, we have weak Christians out there, and we do. We have to be careful. Yeah. Or somebody that hadn't made that decision yet. You know, God is is working on them, but they, they hadn't made that choice yet. 
Where the Bible isn't explicit in pronouncements of principles, Christians must exercise sanctified flexibility that displays compassion and love for others. And you know, that word love, there's no greater love or word than what love is to us. God loved us. He went to that cross, died, shed his blood for us. There's no greater love than what he did for us on that cross. When our conscience, I'm going to throw the Holy Spirit in here, as our guide, we must value every member of God's family by seeking the good of our neighbor before our own. And that's, uh, I'm reading out of Romans 14, 21, 23, but, uh, you know, today, this day and time, you know, the way what's going on in society and in the world, and I know it gets disheartening, but as believers, we know what's coming. You know, we should be looking for his day any time now. Because what a blessing it's going to be for the believers. Amen. But we still pray for the lost. And just like our presentations that we're doing, we hope these words will touch somebody. And God will open their heart and they will make that choice. Yeah. And what a blessing if, it's the, if his house is full. The body's full. And when it gets full, we're going home. What a blessing. What a great day that's going to be. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, again, we just humbly come before you. and Dear Lord, just thank you for loving us. And thank you for always being faithful, Father. And dear Lord, just help us to put all of our trust into you, Father, because you already know what tomorrow's going to bring. You, go, you know what the next few seconds are going to bring father but you know that's a mystery for all of us we don't really know but you do father and dear lord we just thank you for that holy spirit that's with us that makes us all one with you dear lord as believers and dear lord again we just thank you for what you did on the cross for us and dear lord you said it was finished and it's a the age of grace dear lord your grace is sufficient for whatever problems or anything that comes up, regardless of what it is, dear Lord. Your grace is sufficient. And we just thank you so much for that, Father. And dear Lord, we just thank you for the mysteries that you revealed to the Apostle Paul, for the Gentiles, and for the Jews, for everyone, dear Lord, that reads your word. But there are still mysteries. You know, mystery of death, that's a mystery for us. We don't know, but the ones that have went on before us, that mystery, it's not there for them, but it's still for us. But dear Lord, by reading your word and putting our trust into you, you reveal to us what we need. Thank you, Father, because we need you every day, Father. Every hour, we need you to put our trust into you, Father. We love you and we trust you. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen.